I'm here today to show you how to use the new AppMap Navi. AppMap Navi isn't just another AI code assistant, it's the missing link that improves the power of AI code completers and code assistants. Leveraging the unique ability that AppMap has to understand your code's execution at runtime, Navi transforms this data into a powerhouse of hyper-personalized, context-aware insights for AI-assisted coding. That means you're not just working with static analysis anymore, and you're not looking at just individual files and functions. You're stepping into a realm where Navi can actually understand the entire code base at an architectural level, how it behaves and executes, and provide much more detailed answers to your software questions. So in this example, I'm a software engineer working on a Django powered web store, and I've been tasked with adding a CAPTCHA for the registration page here. I've got AppMap installed with my project already, which means as I interact with the registration page, it will generate AppMaps automatically for my service. You can also use tests to interact with any part of your application to generate AppMaps. And you can see here that navigating these AppMaps, I can see this API request all the way down to the database and all the code interactions in between. So now I can use this data to ask AppMap Navi what areas of my code base are involved in the new user registration service because I want to find all of the files so I can add this offline CAPTCHA. AppMap Navi will now search through all of my app maps and provide the detailed runtime sequence diagrams as additional context to the generative AI. I can search through my AppMap data based on my request and send this data along to the generative AI service to get a much clearer view into exactly what files I need to find and edit. Now, if I was using a uh, AI powered code auto completer, I would need to already know what files or functions that this request hits. AppMap can see how my code executes and Navi provides the AI with this context. I get very clear and direct insight into exactly where I need to make this code change. I'm gonna ask for more specific information on how to implement this change. So let's review now what it recommended. First, it's gonna want me to install the Django Simple Capture Service, which we'll do here. Then we're gonna add the application to our settings file. Next, we're gonna follow these steps and update this line right here in our urls.py file. And in the next step, we'll need to update the registration form at forms.py. So we'll go open that file here and we'll add that first line to import the package. In the next section, we need to add the CAPTCHA to the form, but it didn't tell us exactly which function we need to add that into. And looking through this code, I'm, I'm really not sure where I need to add this. So I think it's time that we ask another question. We'll ask Navi about this specific library, giving it additional context, and you'll see a simple example on where we can add this feature will be given back to us. By asking this question with this more specific context, you'll notice that Navi is telling us to add this line to the email user creation form. Now let's go back to that file and search for that function. And now we can see right here is where we'll add the CAPTCHA in the right location. So we've already added it to our installed apps, but we have not yet run the database migration. So I'm going to do that now. With our database migration executed, we can continue the steps and update the HTML template for the registration page, which I can search for here. Using this registration template, we can copy the code over from Navi and paste it into the section above the submit button. Now let's give it a test. We'll refresh our page, head over to the registration portal, and you'll see this new CAPTCHA field has been created. So let's test this out. We'll fill out the form and complete the CAPTCHA correctly, and you'll see the user account gets created. Now let's do it one more time but we'll register our account with an invalid CAPTCHA. You'll see the registration has failed and the user was notified that the CAPTCHA was incorrect. Now you can see how AppMap improves the AI coding experience across your entire application. If you asked similar questions to a standard AI assistant, you would only get generic answers based on existing public knowledge. Without knowledge of your code, these generic responses will leave you continuing to hunt and search through a complex code base. With AppMap able to see all of your code's runtime behavior, it can now provide these context-aware insights that power these hyper-personalized responses to your software questions in your code editor. To learn more about AppMap Navi, head over to getappmap.com.